And hi again, I'm Dylan Black. Welcome to another edition of Daytime Ottawa. You know you have it on Rogers TV. The cold and flu season can definitely linger uh, throughout the spring season as well. A lot of people think the cold and flu just lasts during the winter. She's here to help us right now with foods and nutrient ideas that can definitely help. She's a registered holistic nutritionist with K-Nutrition. It's Stephanie K. Hello. Hi. You could have called it Stephanie Nutrition, by the way. I could call it Stephanie Nutrition. That was a t I could have just called it Stephanie K. <laughs> yeah, you could have called it Red Nutrition. I could have called it Red. That's your nickname. That is definitely my nickname. Yeah. People call me it all the time. I can, I'm I, going with it. I, it's, it's good. It suits you. It's a yeah, good Yeah, you know? It's strong. <laughs> How long have you been in this business? Uh, I've been in this business just over five years now. Yeah. So what is it about uh, keeping people healthy that you love so much? Honestly, um... It's a true passion of mine, mm -hmm. and I feel like in the past 15, 20 years, I have put so much work into my own health and learning about food and learning about fitness, and I just feel like I've really made a lot of progress, and I'm just so excited to pay it forward to people so mm -hmm. that they don't, they don't have to go through that same 15 or 20 years. I can kind of shorten the time frame yeah. a little bit. And you yeah. practice what you preach? I, I would definitely say that I do. I so think most people would agree good. with me. Yeah, you're feeling, feeling good. good. Feeling healthy, yeah, fit. Working good. out, eating that real food, all that good <laughs> stuff. Yeah. So, so why do people think then that cold and flu season is, is just primarily a winter thing, but it, it's really year-round we've got to be taking into effect some of these nutrients and foods, right? Yeah, exactly. You're, I mean, your body kind of knows what time of the year it is, but you're susceptible to things at any point in the year obviously in the winter time we're indoors more we're not getting as much sunlight not as much fresh air we got more germs floating around kind of thing so it's definitely peaking in january and february but it will definitely linger in, into the spring as well summer too okay. yeah we're talking about foods and nutrients what exactly is a nutrient uh, a nutrient is something that you will find in the food so i tend to toss uh, refer to nutrients there's macronutrients being carbohydrates protein and fat and then micronutrients being vitamins and minerals and your food is basically a vehicle to get those things inside of your body because mm. that's what your body actually functions on all right yeah let's talk about some of those top nutrients then you brought a lot to yeah i did i got a lot of, of goodies here today yeah. so when it comes to the immune system there's um specific nutrients that are going to help to not only boost it if you will um but support it when a cold or flu does set in so you can use it leading up to preventatively or when it's actually coming in okay. so the big ones are going to be probiotics okay. vitamin c and vitamin d so where do you find those so probiotics are uh, found in fermented foods and you're trying to hear that word a lot more um, because the conversation about gut health and our gut which is really you know the core of our health mm -hmm. is really important and probiotics is beneficial bacteria that will support your gut health so again like like I said you can find that in fermented foods so the okay. example I have here today is kefir, kefir which is a fermented dairy beverage it's similar to yogurt but you could find it in other fermented foods like sauerkraut or kimchi kind of use them as con condiments if you will in your dishes okay and, and mushrooms yes so mushrooms I brought as an example for vitamin D. Again, I had mentioned, you know, this time of year, there's not always that much sun. So we're looking for different ways to get vitamin D. We're not getting that sunlight. Mm -hmm. And uh, mushrooms are a great source of vitamin D. And they've actually been used in Asian cultures as a source of vitamin D for thousands of years. Mm -hmm. And really any type of mushroom, it doesn't really matter what variety it is. Except for the funny ones. Eh? Yeah, not, the, not those ones. Not okay. those ones. And, uh, <laughs> the ones at the grocery store. <laughs> Another tip is you should probably really wash your mushrooms. Like Yes. Yes, because they grow in. They are fungi, if you will. So, but really, any food that doesn't yeah. have a, have a coating, if if it's something you're gonna peel off, you definitely want to make sure that you're washing yeah. it. Okay, yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you brought a blender with you. I did. Uh, I did. So, so a bit of a demonstration of about course. how to make these foods happen, because yes. uh, not every, everybody's just gonna pick up a mushroom and start chewing on exactly. it. Exactly. Right? You're kind of going, okay, you know, we're talking about mushrooms. I got turmeric. I got ginger. It's like, how do I actually make a dish out of this? Yeah. So I do have some actual recipes. But one really quick thing that you can actually do is you see like wellness shots are becoming very trendy or smoothies as well and it's actually really easy to make at home you're definitely going to want a high powered blender for it mm -hmm. uh, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to just basically take what I've got here is we're going to do a ginger shot I've got just a wedge of ginger and I'm just going to toss it in and I've got a little wedge of turmeric that I'm going to toss in there you don't have to peel them if you've got a high powered blender I like the, Vi the Vitamix the Ascend mm -hmm. A3500 it's so powerful yeah. um, it's going to break everything up and really extract the nutrients from it so you could use the the dried stuff but the roots are amazing then I'm going to add some orange juice to it. Mm -hmm. You could also like peel an orange and throw that in, but for speed, you can just um, use some orange juice. I'm going to add a crack of black pepper to it. 
because what black pepper does, it actually helps to bring out the nutrients found in the turmeric. Okay, just a crack though, okay? Just a crack. Okay. You can do more than one. I did three cracks there, I guess. <laughs> I <laughs> I guess. Uh, and then I'm going to add, the last thing I'm going to add to it is just a little spoonful of honey, which people might think, you know, oh, that's sugar. Maybe that's not good for my immune system. Yeah. Yeah, processed sugar is not ideal, but actually honey is antibacterial, antimicrobial, and antifungal mm -hmm. if you're um, using raw honey. So look for that keyword. And then what I would do with this is I would literally just blitz this up. Mm -hmm. This is something, it's going to chop right through the ginger and the turmeric. The honey will take the edge off the spice of the ginger too, so if yeah. you don't love ginger. And then what you can do is actually just store that in a mason jar in the fridge, and then you can take them as little shots in the morning. You can take as much or as little as you want, but it's just a quick and easy thing that you can have with your breakfast alongside. Is it as tasty as it looks? I think it tastes delicious. I would say, <laughs> you, you know, like, if, <laughs> if you are, you know, if you don't love ginger, ease into the amount that you put into it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, what about uh, some of the other foods you brought on the yeah. end as well? Because that looks like healthy, warm, stick to your ribs type yeah, stuff. Yeah, this is more of like a, a full meal, as you will. This is more of like a an accompaniment to a dish. So what I've got here is I made a chicken soup. We all hear chicken soup when you're sick, right? Yeah. That's very popular. What I did is I used bone broth in it, which is also what I've got over here in the mug because that's really rich in minerals mm -hmm. and that's just basically your boiling bones in water. Mm -hmm. um, and that's all the nutrients are extracted and that's really beneficial for gut health. And then I put a whole bunch of onion and garlic because they are anti-inflammatory and antibacterial. And then a whole bunch of the mushrooms for vitamin D. And then wow. we've got some, some chicken as well because protein will help to build the antibodies to support the immune system. Sounds like good stuff. And, and I, I, I was joking, I mean, it, it is tasty <laughs> stuff. And, and health, uh, healthy foods can taste tasty. Yes. Which is a good, but 30 seconds left here. So what's yeah. the best way then for people to get in contact with you to get to more nutritional uh, nutritional advice. Yeah, of course. You can go to my website. It's knutrition.com. I've got hundreds of free recipes on there, free downloads, free seven-day meal plan. You can actually find these soups and this lentil dal that I've got here too and different ways to use these foods. Based in Ottawa, but you service the world. I do. <laughs> I like to think Thank I do. you very much, <laughs> Stephanie K. Red. We appreciate your time here today. <laughs> Thank that you so much. More daytime coming up in moments. I'm Dylan Black. It's Rogers TV. <laughs>